Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to go ham on that thumbs up button. If you guys have not noticed, we are at Thrifties. We're back in Sydney. If you guys, you know, really, really do enjoy it. Share these videos. I don't know, do whatever you guys gotta do. Let's get into the car. How do you like the car, babe? It's pretty spacious, nice leather seats. Did you do like an upgrade or something? No, I definitely didn't. If I got an upgrade, I would have definitely got a Mercedes. <laughs> but That's it's what nice. I was thinking of getting. But it was like $500 for it's two days. huge though, which is great because we can fit a lot of boxes in here. All right, let's go to the pop-up store right now. Are we going to eat food first? We're going to go to the pop-up store first and unload everything. Okay. Where are we, Alex? Uh, breakfast. We're now. We checked out the store. We unpacked everything. Yeah. And we're, we're having good. yum cha. Have you ever had yum cha before? Yes, I have. You have? Have we're you ever had yum cha before? I think so. You think yeah, so? Is it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's a breakfast, breakfast thing. Breakfast. So we have the chicken feet, which Hal always loves to eat. This one's my favorite. This is like a rice roll. You guys always know what we always get with yum cha now. I'm excited to eat. Breakfast is done and I'm actually so, so full. But now we're going to head across the road to Patty's Market. I haven't been here for so long. I remember the last time I came here, I actually got like a couple phone cases, which was so cute. It's actually still really early in the morning as well. It's like 9 a.m. So I think we're just going to have a stroll around before we head back to the Surrey store. Guys, look how cool this is. It's a supposed supreme gaming and it actually fully works. There's so many of these sunglasses places here and this is the first pickup from Patty's Market. $10 for these clear gold ones. Absolutely. Let's see what else we can get. Ooh, Yo, look how cool so that is. Sick. Is that a full custom? Yeah. That's really nice. I like the one over over there. I think it's two tails. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. That's so awesome. So supposedly we had to come all the way to Sydney to look at this tree. <laughs> This gold tree. What's so special about it, Alex? People say money doesn't grow on trees, but they've never been here. <laughs> what? That's right. Do you like the tree, babe? I don't get it. He just has no it. idea. How are you going, babe? Um, going pretty good. I feel like we've been here for like maybe an hour or two and we're pretty much nearly organized. The most time consuming part though is just organizing the stocks to make it as fast as possible when we're like checking you guys out and all that, but it's good. I feel like we need to get something to make it more like cooler cooler and like colorful or kind of homey in a way as well, because it's just very plain and bland. Don't you reckon? Yeah. So those neons right there need to go up against that wall. That's the wall. But look how cool the roof is. I mean, without the Playboy bunnies, it's cool, but yeah. I, mean, I just don't dig the Playboy bunny. And then we still have to buy a table for a pause. But yep, so our point of sale will be here. I've started doing Philly it. Philly has <laughs> killed this. But guys, if you guys, if I can kick this and show you how dodgy this thing is, look. Look at it wobble. No, it was worse. That's why That's I That's so there. bad. That's so bad. But this is Philly's craziness that she's organized. So this is where all our stock is gonna sit, which is the idea that I had because she wanted to put it over there, but we're gonna keep this area here um, for a change room and people can try things on and have a look at themselves at a mirror. We also have a mirror there, but we still need more gimmicky stuff. We are now on the way to Kmart because we're gonna buy some tables, some uh, fishing wire to hang up the neons and other things like that. But as I told you guys before, we're having problems with customs. One of the parcels actually just cleared and Mark from Kixplore is actually flying up because I'm paying for it to fly up. So he's gonna come up anyway and he's gonna go to uh, DHL for me, get all the lanyards, keychains and um, some other stuff for me. But there's still, there's still no more socks and water bottles and tote bags, which isn't too bad. I'd rather have the keychains and the key rings and stuff like that. Isn't that right, babe? Yeah. Oh, I remember this Kmart. You've been here? Yeah. We had to take Josh here to buy an outfit so we could go out. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that time that we uh, took Josh to Sydney? Yeah. He went to Kmart and bought new new shoes and a oh, whole new outfit I from Kmart. I remember like he's like, I didn't even have underwear. Yeah, and we all went to Kmart. This Kmart, this is the Kmart can we I went to. Can I just say though, this car is huge and I'm driving it and I like can barely see anything. Like I can't see. <laughs> but I'm actually so, so grateful for Mark to be able to um, go get all the stuff. I was actually just going to pay anyone to go do it because I, I feel like it, I, I need to bring it because I've advertised that 
lanyards and stuff like that even though in the last two days i've said that hey we're not actually going to have it but now it's going to be even better because we are going to have it i'm not going to post anything anytime soon until mark actually has it physically i had to pay like 500 dollars worth of taxes which is hella hella annoying but anyway guys um time to get all this stuff is it free parking yes it's free parking yeah. sydney parking is hella expensive as well so annoying isn't that right babe Babe, I'm talking. Can you reach? <laughs> Just. I feel like we're like about to touch. This feels way bigger than driving the van. There is no good uh, fishing wire, so we got this uh, metal wire. We also have this A4 display. Blue's got a bunch of candles and random stuff. Zach's got this big ass esky. <laughs> it's maybe for us. Um, and we're gonna look for tables. I think no we tables? have to go back to the office section. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. Okay. We're back now and I'm gonna show you guys what we bought. So I got like these little tag things so we can write the pricing of everything. So you guys, when you're looking at the products, you just look at it and it says it's $80, $50, $60, whatever it is. Makes it all easier for you and for us as well. I also bought some wool just because the string was so expensive there. I wanted to get some nice twine, but it was like six, eight dollars for just like a whole roll and it was smaller than this. So I've got myself some wool, which was only two dollars. I had to pre-cut the wool, so now I've just got to thread all of these pieces of strings into each of them. This is going to be the most time-consuming part, so I'll speak to you after I'm done. The boys are over here now, and they're going to try to put up the neon signs, so hopefully it looks good. They don't have pliers though, so they're really struggling how to cut the metal that they bought. This is the metal that they bought over here. And what's really hard about it is you just can't cut it with scissors or anything. You actually need pliers. Have you figured out a way? Yeah, my hands. Oh, it works? No, because it builds heat and then the heat snaps. Mm, there you go, guys. Yeah, take all of them. But you're not taking them all to, to Sydney with you. Didn't I tell you what you're going to do? Yeah, I did. I told you you're going to divide it up and take only a bit to Sydney. I told you that. Can I call you back? Sorry, I'm, I'm like literally setting up. Can I call you back in like five seconds? We are now at our um, hotel and this look at ready one, two, three. Like Goldilocks or whatever. It's kind of weird, but the option was to either get a double bed and a sofa bed, but we're like, you know what? We can just sleep sleep separately for one night and have our own bed each. And then we actually have Mark coming up. He's actually bringing our keychains and stuff. I think you guys know this. So he's gonna be sleeping on one bed and how and I are gonna be sharing a single bed together. That's gonna be weird. Yeah, it's gonna be tight and squishy, but lucky we're little. So where are we gonna go after this, babe? We're right gonna go now, Pudos. I think we're gonna go have a Pudo, which is like one of the best the bomb. places. It's the only place I actually kind of like eating ramen at, and I'm keen for their cucumbers because their cucumbers are so good. So we'll bring you guys along. I'm just gonna change my shoes because my vans are so uncomfortable right now. Look how busy this place is, guys. We've probably been waiting in line for like 15 minutes, but the line goes like all the way across there. It's so insane. However, I'm so excited. They have like bows and ramen and it looks so good. Seriously, this is the only reason why we go to Oputo. Literally, because she just wants a cucumber. Wait, have you told him that we're with Oliver? Do they know he's there? No, Look, it's Ollie. What's up, bruv? Hello. Long time no see. Yeah, Ollie. definitely a long time no Ages. see. Months. Ages. Months. No, not really. Wait, when's the last time we saw Ollie? Uh, last time I saw Oh, last time. Yeah, last kickstand. Last kickstand, mate. So it's like three, four months? Three, four months. Easily, easily three, four months. Kickstand. Yeah, the kickstand, mate. Of course, you guys can see right here, we had to get the edamame and it comes with like extra salt or something. It's actually so good. Is it salt? Really good. Just like special salt? Cucumbers are lit though. Food is finally served. This is uh, karage men and uh, I get it with the extra char siu. And they didn't ask me. Ali just made a really good point. They never asked us how we liked our noodles. I know, cheese. Yeah, like noodles. Super hard. <laughs> is it good, babe? Alright guys, gotta give a big shout out to Mark from Kickspore from bringing 
my stock down. I'm s I can't even open this. Look how he taped it. Duck tape, yo. He literally flew from Melbourne to bring the lanyards and keychains. I'm so fucking excited so right guys, now. Make sure you go follow his YouTube channel, Kiss Because he killed it. Killed it. What the hell is going on, man? Fire out. Just We're fucking just rip it. Thank you, Mark. No, no, you guys have to, have to, have to reply. You have to subscribe to Kicksport. You have to now. You have to. There's no excuses. Chicken. Thank you, bro. Oh, dude, you killed it. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lanyards, keychains, all because of him. Yo, this is actually what I want to see. This is exclusive right here. I've never even seen that. Even have you. Um, a VIP party for the downstairs store but we have our first people waiting in line already and the time right now is like 11 14 or something you guys are crazy are you ready for a night though? I feel so bad in a way oh my god anyways we'll see them tomorrow they're the first in line so they'll get some extra gifts then <laughs>